There is plenty to taste and see at a shop in North Tonawanda. Coffee from the past, tea from the future, and one of Mike Randall's favorite things, comic books. Check it out. In case you haven't heard, comics are not just for kids anymore. Jugheads, a werewolf? Who oh, no. knew? At Pulp 716 in North Tonawanda, they cater to customers of all ages. Our main demographic is anywhere from 18 all the way up to 70 sometimes. Owner Amy Barrett admits it was her husband who got her hooked on comics in the first place. Now she has a favorite. The Walking Dead. That's it. For sure, yeah. A lot of people might not realize it was a comic series before it was a TV show. Amy says 150 to 200 new comics are issued each Wednesday. The artists and writers have stepped up their game. Even the quality of the paper is better. Pages are nice and glossy. and. What sets Pulp 716 apart is they serve up sweets, bubble tea, plus historically accurate coffee, which required research from a coffee expert. So we were able to find out the certain kind of coffee beans, grinding methods and roasting methods of certain time periods. Today's brew is from the fabulous 40s. Our 1946 bikini brew is great from the year that the bikini debuted. And for the uninitiated, present company included, bubble tea is a trendy taste treat. A surprising amount of people don't know what it is. Ice, a little flavoring, some tea, and a good shake. The tea gets a nice head on it. This is why it's called bubble tea. Your tea also gets bobas. It looks like caviar. It does. That's either tapioca balls that you can chew or balls of flavor that burst in your mouth. There's your bubble tea. Mmm, bubble tea. Wow, are you supposed to chew those? Mm -hmm. Pulp 716 celebrates two years on Webster Street in North Tonawanda with a second location in Lockport. We just wanted everybody to have a place to come and hang out. Comics, historically accurate coffee, and bubble tea. What's not to like about being a grown-up, right? <laughs> Whoa, those are delicious. Are they good? For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.